been following along, uh, this is the second in the series of videos that explains the technique of isometric drawing, which as we explained before is a three-dimensional drawing technique, which is used a lot by designers and engineers and potentially architects and technical illustrators. Okay. Now in this second video, um, what we're going to do is change things up and make things a little bit more challenging for you guys. Um, so in the first one I was talking about using this isometric grid paper, but what we're going to do is try and uh, steer away from just using the, the grid paper and just working directly onto plain paper. So what we're going to do is a series of exercises and I'm going to talk about a series of different techniques that you can kind of uh, do to hopefully get you to that point where you can start feeling more confident to draw in three dimensions and to draw and create um, accurately communicated ideas and sketches. Okay, Now the first thing we're going to talk about effectively is uh, the, the rem a reminder effectively of the important factors of isometric drawing. Okay, And what these uh, in a nutshell are is the, the idea of drawing using three different axes. Okay, So we've got an X axis, a Y axis and a Z axis. Okay, I've done this in the first video using three different colours. Okay, We're going to move away from that Okay, because I want you to try and get a, a, an understanding of doing this without the need for different coloured pens and things like this because it will just uh, age your progression in this sense okay but effectively in any three-dimensional object and I use the idea of this um, uh, glass bottle in the first instance in any three-dimensional object we've got lines going up and down which as I said we use we, we called the Y plane or the Y axis sorry uh, we have lines going across the object like this to create a second dimension which is what we talked about as the X plane and we've got lines going this way which would be the Y plane. Now in isometric drawing the other key characteristic that you, you should have remembered from the first video effectively is the concept that if we've got a horizon line which is at the base of our page and it's in line with the bottom of our page here okay our Y axis is always going to come up at 90 degrees to the page. It's always going to come up like this and like this and like this. Now you'll notice what I should be doing is checking these lines. You can see that line, it, whoa, it veers off like this, okay? It's not that good, okay? Now, it's much harder for me because I'm on a, a video here and I'm trying to turn my arm around. The first little tip what I'd say is whenever you're drawing a line in any sort of drawing technique is to turn the paper round so that your arm is comfortable drawing the line the way it wants to draw it, okay? So, as you can see, the lines going up the page were going this way, okay? But if I turn the paper round, just to an, uh, a degree where my arm is comfortable, so my arm moves comfortably in this sort of direction, okay, what I'll find is I can draw lines much more accurately, okay, well, not that one, but much more accurately using my arm in this position. Now, what I then need to do, because this is our Y axis here, okay, what I then need to do is draw lines going off in this direction here, okay. Now you can see this is a much more comfortable direction in its current uh, uh, placement for the paper for my arm to move in so I can do these more accurately and you can see these angles are more parallel to each other okay but again if I go back to my existing sheet this was my y-axis if I'm going to draw lines going on the y-axis I turned it like this if I want them on the uh, the x-axis what I'm going to do is turn it to an angle where I'm basically drawing exactly the same line so my line going this way is exactly the same as my line going that way all I've done is turn the paper it's very hard to turn our arm it's not hard to turn the paper around so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to turn it this way and then I can draw lots of lines going off like this okay all going off at that 30 degree angle to the page now the final uh, um, line my final axis okay so we've got our y axis here we've got our x axis over here okay our final axis is going off in this direction now again if I'm going to draw it using the paper around like this it's very hard for me I'm, I'm kind of turning my arm upside down and I'm trying to get this oh dear that's not gone well at all it's very hard to kind of get it to do this way if I go back to my other sheet where I drew my y axis like this and I drew my x axis like this You've probably guessed what I'm going to do is turn the paper around again to the point where my arm is going in the same direction and I can just draw lines off in this direction here. Okay, So the task on this first challenge is effectively being able to draw lines straight. That is it. Okay, If we can draw a straight line in one direction it means potentially by turning the paper around we can draw straight lines 90 degrees to the edge of the paper 30 degrees to one side of the paper and 30 degrees to the other side of the paper and all we're doing is drawing the same line over and over again. So my first line 
we'll, we'll put a little starting point so you can see the page turning. My first line, I turn it round to get it to a point where my arm is comfortable. Now what I'm going to do here, before I put pen to paper, I'm going to use a technique called ghosting. Okay, so imagine just like a ghost, you can't see the ghost, so I can't see my line yet. What I'm doing is my arm is practicing the movement. When I'm happy with the movement, what I do is slowly and confidently put the pen down to the paper and I draw my first line. Okay, if I'm happy with that, I can move on. If I'm not happy, I can always rub it out and try again. Okay, but effectively now, I've got my line in that, that direction. This is my first line, my Y axis. What I'm now doing is turning the paper around. We're trying to go off in around about this angle, about 30 degrees. So again, I'm getting it to a point where my arm feels comfortable. Ghosting, I'm moving from the elbow, notice, not from the wrist. I don't want my paper on the, uh, my, my wrist on the paper like this. It's gonna create nasty little curved lines like this. I'm moving from the, the elbow here, okay, pivoting on the elbow. I'm gonna ghost the line like this. And when I feel confident, I'll drop the line down on the paper. Notice, quite straight, quite clean, and I've done my first line on the x-axis. Probably the angle is maybe a little bit above 30 degrees. This comes with practice, and it, it's much harder when you're trying to create a video whilst doing this. But effectively, you can do this as many times as you want, and again, you can rub it out and, and practice and improve the design as you go. And then finally, again, looking at my starting point, I'm turning it around again. I'm getting it to a point where I've got this kind of angle here, about 30 degrees going in the other direction. Getting it to a point where my uh, hand is comfortable, and once again, Pivoting from the elbow, using the ghosting technique, practicing like this, practicing the line until I'm confident I'm doing it, and then slowly bring the line down, and then I should find that these two angles are opposites uh, to each other, and um, again, at 30 degrees to this baseline, like that, and there we go. We've got three lines. I've effectively want you to practice drawing lines, straight lines, and you might want to start by literally just getting on the paper and going, okay, ghosting, 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 going one, two, three, and practicing and practicing and practicing. When you've got a line going in one direction, you just turn the paper around and then practice a line going in another direction. When you've got that down, you practice again going in another direction. Effectively, what you're doing is not... Uh, Doing anything different at all, you're drawing lines going in the same direction, but you should end up with something hopefully that looks a little bit like an isometric grid. There, you can see my accuracy is not too bad because I've got a bit of practice on doing this. So, there's the grid paper, and there's my little grid that I've drawn there. Okay, when I get more confident with doing this, what I can do is I can start using those lines again. Okay, so I need to draw some uh, lines on the y axis like this to create maybe a box, then I can go across on this axis to draw lines. Uh, for the, the other side of the box and then turn the paper around and again doing lines going this way and if you find that they all meet up with each other it means you've done a good job because you're keeping your lines on the x-axis parallel to each other the uh, z-axis parallel to each other and the y-axis parallel to each other and again if you really wanted to you could check with a protractor that you've got these lines at 30 degrees or in the case of the y-axis here you've got them at right angles to the edge of the paper or at 90 degrees okay so that is practice in drawing lines, but drawing lines straight and drawing them at correct angles is the basis of doing a good isometric drawing.